Hi, good afternoon. My name is Jason Curtis. I'm phoning from South Africa to do an interview with Kylie Minogue. Hi, yeah. Uh, is that you? Maybe one minute. Thank you. Yes, that's me. Hi, it's Kylie. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm not too bad, thanks. I must admit it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure to actually speak to you. Um, I've, I've, I've been following your career, I think, since it, since it began. We are almost of... of My God, that's Sanna! <laughs> <laughs> well, we are, we are actually the same age, so you see it's... Uh, for, really? Yeah, so there you go. You know, that's, it's, it's a real pleasure at this time in my career that I do speak to a lot of people who who are around the same age as me and coming from starting out pretty young and I was always the youngest at everything, you know, I was always yeah. a child and I always thought oh, everyone else knows better and they're all older than me and all that. Yeah. And um and yeah. You see. And, and now it's it's on a far more understanding level. So Absolutely. It's a lot more yeah. enjoyable. Great. Um, I have to, to have to sort of ask. Obviously, uh, six albums. You were a PWL giant. You were pushed from pillar to post. Um, where where would you want yourself to sort of fit into the scheme of things now, especially with the new yes, album? Now, mm. um, I'm, I'm, I haven't quite reached where I'd like to be. <laughs> so as soon as I've done something, mm -hmm. I expect more of myself. Which is good. And then I will do more, and then I'll expect more of myself. It's, it's probably, I don't know, most performers are kind of trapped in that as well, which what, what keep, is what keeps you doing it. Um, I guess, it, to make a comparison to those days, it's just most um, working um, positions I find myself in, it's, it's, it's a lot more equal. It isn't about being pushed around anymore, and... Um, I mean, it hasn't come to the other extreme where um, where I'm pushing other people around Not and yet, saying, no. do this, do that, and then they're all following my instructions. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy working with people, and they encourage me to to be creative and, and trust myself, as is the case with this album. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. what, what do you actually uh, intend uh, for the album? What would you like to see uh, come of it? I'm sorry. Uh, w with the new album, what um, what would you like to see um, happen with the album as uh, as far as its success? Um, success wise, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm trying to kind of keep that that um, all those calculations out of mind because I I have to measure success in a different way. Mm. If I was to measure it the same as the old days. I would probably go mad, <laughs> you know, because then it was it was just ridiculous record sales, number one after number one after number one, and it was kind of it, it, it's not I can't keep that up, you know. Sure. There's, there's other people who've taken taken over that kind of role, but I can still be very successful in in another way um, with chart positions mm. and and sales and everything. But what what will make this album more of a success to me is that people accept it for what it is sure. and and that is that it's a big step forward for me. Absolutely. And and they're accepting of, of the songwriting and enjoying the songs mm. and can get a, a glimpse of uh, or more of an understanding of, of who I am and where I am at, at this point in my life. Mm. Mm. Because I, everything I've written about is is a, a reality. It's something that it's like a diary of, of that, or different moments in that two-year period of my life. Right, right. And so far, it's it's worked. I mean, I've been really pleased because people are they're reading into the songs. Everyone will interpret them in their own way, yes, but sure. they uh, there there is an understanding which is so fulfilling. I can't begin to tell you. Which is great because it's my first time doing it this way. It's brilliant. Yeah, it was. Was it was that sort of daunting for you at all? You know, actually taking it on and doing it yourself. Um, surprisingly, no. 
I think we know. I don't think so. Um, when we started working on the album, I started with Brothers in Rhythm as it was the logical place to start with Confide in Me being the kind of place you wanted to pick up and, and take off from. Sure. And uh, I guess in a minor way, it was a little daunting just bringing in lyrics and, and you know, I, I'm sure there was a few times where I would hand over lyrics or go through them and be kind of faffing about the place going, oh, well, you know, it's nothing. I mean, it was just, well, if you don't yeah. like, I just wrote it last, there might not be any good, you know, yeah, trying yeah. to make every excuse in case I look stupid. Sure. <laughs> um, but I went in with the notion or the understanding that this might work, it might not work, but I have to give it a try. And sure. as it turned out, it did work and I found it very easy and at the same time very challenging. Right. And it was something that was a big lesson for me in that it, with the lyrics themselves, they could be final on paper. Mm. It wasn't about anyone else judging them or being, or them being then put into the form of a song and was it musically correct or mm. all of those. Me putting words to paper with just about all of them, some more strongly than others, but I don't know if it's the same for you as, as a writer. Maybe you're doing something for a magazine and the editor will come in and chop and change things yeah. and that's, you kind of accept it. But if you've written something that's very personal, mm -hmm. you, you close the page and go, that's great. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to say. That's off my chest. It has its own life. And, mm. and that's something that I learned Absolutely. through the process of this album. Absolutely. And I think, um, as I say, when, you know, when, when I'm looking, well, looking back at it, obviously, in the last two years as well, the, the people that you've actually worked with, um, you know, mm. from, from Nick Cave to, to the likes of Manic Street Preachers, um, yeah. approaching you and giving you, giving you lyrics, I mean, that must have been, was, was that sort of uh, a form of recognition that you were, um, that you were still as vital um, yes, <laughs> especially with Nick, um, because I, I, I've spent a lot more time with him. We've done quite a few concerts together. I've performed at his shows. He came and performed at a festival I played at. Yes. Um, so I, I do have a greater connection to him. And also, well, in the case with both of them, it had been a few years prior that they had been thinking of working with me, so it wasn't as if all of a sudden it was a it was a gimmick mm, for them mm, to do. Sure. Um, I know that I remember years before a couple of different people had passed on messages from Nick Cave saying that he was interested in doing a song with me and I was just Yeah. I hate to admit very naive and I was like, Oh, oh yeah. Sure. I didn't I had didn't know the the you know, the, yeah, the, magnitude the of icon all. that is Nick Cave, the god yes. that, that he is. <laughs> yes. So I was very blasé. I thought, oh, well, I guess he'll contact me if he wants to do something. And so it turns out you know, five years down the line, he's, he's made an incredible difference in my life, not yes. just professionally, but just as a person. I, he's so genuine, and I I don't think Nick would waste any words with me. Any mm. Anything he... He stresses to me or encourages me to do is, mm. has always been right, mm, 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 um, and I, I really it's a a nice relation because I I do look up to him. Sure. But at the same time, I know that there's there is a space where there's a very equal respect, even mm. though he's done so much more than than I have. Sure. But he's he's not swayed by by what popular or what's not popular he's mm. just true to himself and and the fact that he's taken me so much to heart is endlessly uh inspiring for sure me. and I mean the, you know the, the big thing to me is that obviously um, a, a lot of artists that were around when when you when you started and you were in in sort of your your earlier sort of heyday um, you mm. so you survived um, and you, mm. you've actually grown with it um, to become this credible artist has has that has that transition actually been a been an easy thing have have you know did you was it difficult to actually get people to take you seriously uh, personally i think it's more like a miracle <laughs> <laughs> you know it wasn't meant to be this way i was meant to be like the others yeah um but somehow it happened and i think 
there's a certain amount that we can kind of guesstimate mm. <laughs> why. Mm-hmm. Um, that that I've, I have made a lot of changes. I've tried to, to vary the musical styles and, and the different ways that I would project myself, mm. different images. Um, yes. But I think there's another, a, a large part of that is is something that is very magical to me and and that's the fact that the audience have allowed me to do that because I think of how many artists might have the potential to go on and do any number of things but they're never given the opportunity because it's such a physical industry you can just be cut off and 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 people do like to pigeonhole you in one area and say well that's what you are yeah especially the British press we can't possibly accept you as anything else Mm. so I'm just I'm I'm, I have so much um gratitude, you know, mm. that I have been given these opportunities. And even when I've screwed up, even when I've made really hideous, embarrassing mistakes, mm. I somehow, somehow they've let me get beyond that. Mm, 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 mm. And, and I'm quite happy not to know exactly why, because it's just one of those things that that is, and I don't like to question it too much, because it's, it's working perfectly well. Mm, 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 mm. But I think another important thing is that, that I don't take it for granted. I realize that I am very, very lucky. Mm, mm, mm. And um, as I say, you've, you've obviously been asked this. I wasn't too sure whether I should ask it, but obviously um, with Michael Hutchins' uh, untimely death, how, how, mm. how was that for you? Was that a very difficult thing to uh, deal with? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, incredibly. Um, um, I always, whenever people ask the question, I feel myself taking a, a big breath and thinking, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. If yeah. there's any, any given moment, I could break into tears about it. Yes. Um, but he was such a strong influence in my life. Mm. And the thing is that he still is. I, I, I think of him every day. And... And I'm sure he will continue being such an influence, even though I I, I can have a conversation to him Anytime. in my head, which yeah. I do. Mm. But um, mm. yeah, for, for so many people that that he did touch with his, mm. he was just so charismatic and intelligent and funny and and normal, mm. and at the same time very special. He, he, he kind of. To me, he lives on. I mean, I, yes, I, yeah. I accept that he has gone, mm. but uh, but I feel him very, very strongly. Great, right, great, right, yeah, yeah. And as I say, getting back to the album, um, what would you say? I mean, because of all the tracks, there's there there is still that that diversity within the album. Um, mm. if, if if you sort of had to look forward and s- sort of select of the material that was on there, where where would you sort of like to take the you know where would you expand <laughs> the music to? Oh my God, um, good question. I would probably oh, just shifting on my chair. Um, probably like something like Too Far mm. or Limbo. I mean, they're ones that I, that kind of came very naturally and allowed me to get out some angst, <laughs> okay. for want of a better word. Right. Sounds a bit corny, but no. um, or something like uh, like cowboy style or breathe. Mm. They're kind of more the, the songs in Manic Street Preachers that really are Kylie and the Manic yes. sound, which yes. I think is great for the moment. Yes, but I don't intend on going down. No, no. The, the, the road to a big shining guitar. No, no, no. Because cause the interesting... I'd, I'd stay in the dance yes. realm for sure. Yes, because I say, I mean, the interesting thing is that, as I say, this album, in a way, is um, the way I look at it is, is it's almost like a, a profile in one album of, uh, of the possibilities that are still there uh, or, um, for you. It's not to say that, you know, it's, this, this album has got it's, so many dimensions to it. Um, it's a lazy Susan <laughs> with samples on it. Oh no! 
No, I know what you're saying, though. Yes, but I think it's 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 got that because um, I what I've actually done with the album is I do a show um, on College Radio here, and um, I've played the album to um, a, a lot of typically cynical people, you know, uh, to anything, yeah. to anything, and. Um, and I said, look, I'm not telling you who this is. I'm going to play this to you. And the responses have been phenomenal. Um, That's great to hear. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, I think it's a, a positive sign that, uh, as I say, that credibility is, uh, you know, you, you personally uh, don't have to really talk anymore. The, the, the music will now do that for you. Yeah. The funny thing is, when I've... Um when I've been asked about different tracks, it's exactly as you say, the music is, is saying it and the lyrics are saying it because I, I can explain the track, but I tend to just take one, I, I take a walk around the block mm. and basically end up back at the same point mm. because the lyrics that I've chosen, to me, are the most succinct way of, of saying what I want to say. Yeah. So that's that's great to hear. Well, I know you are short on time, Kylie. Could I ask you to do one sort of last favor for me? Mm. Um, as I say, I do do a show, um, and this will go out on the show, um, and the name of the show is The Cutting Edge. Would you do another, uh, would, could you say, as I say, obviously, um, hi, this is Kylie Minogue, and you're listening to The Cutting Edge? Sure. Whenever you're ready. Hi, this is Kylie Minogue, and you're listening to Cutting Edge. Lovely. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you for being so on time. <laughs> <laughs> normally having to stay. Someone's at the door. No, now they're making big signs. Oops, bigger uh, signs. Got to go. Oh, uh, so, no, no, as I say, but no, I've been looking forward to this one. Believe me, I've, uh, Susanna. Oh, thank you. And I, and I do oh, believe it. talking with you. Yeah, and the album, I'm sure, will, will do wonderful things. And, uh, no, Thanks we'll, for your support. No, great. Good luck with it all. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Take care. Bye.